How's it going, crew? This is Happy Days, and welcome back to our Yaren the yo yo Expert Mode Let's Play. So, quick announcements before we get going. <laughs> Thank you again for the outstanding support for the Rufus series. I know I'm saying this every episode, but it needs to be said. When you guys are being that awesome, I need to say it. So thank you again. Over a thousand likes again. Uh, it's just so cool. So you're, I'm, I'm guessing you're enjoying the Rufus series. So that's awesome. Thank you, guys. Okay, so just to recap, in the last episode, Yaren fought Duke Fishron and beat him pretty easy with the Eye of Cthulhu yo-yo. We also got our life up to max, which was awesome. And just did a bit of exploring in general, too. This episode, we're going to make our way to the dungeon and find out what's happened with the commander after Yokor was destroyed. Big episode coming up. Let's get started. Oh my gosh, guys, the merchant has spawned, and look what he's got. He's got the gradients. We can finally get this missing yo-yo, and if you can't tell by all the loot in my inventory, I've been chilling out in this farm for a while, but uh, that's okay. That's okay, because we finally got the gradient, which is all that matters. So let's go back to base, and I'm pretty sure I have a spot... Uh, open for it? Do we? Did I make a yo- Oh! Do I not have a spot for this yo-yo? Okay, I thought I made one. Oh, that's so strange. Okay, so we need to make- Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, okay. I think I've got it. Yep, so blah, 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 blah. Alright. So we need a room for the Eye of Cthulhu. We need a room for the Gradient. And then- yeah, I was thinking about incorporating the Terrarian into this middle room. So we might do some modifications to it. But the main thing is, for now, I suppose, is that we've got the gradient. So we can put it aside for now. And, uh, let's see. Let's put some of this extra loot in this box. I've just got a random loot box. Got a hallowed key. That was kind of fun. Uh, extra potions. Uh, not that I, I don't need mana, so I can just sell those. Uh, let's put the extra healing potions in there. Beautiful from all the mimics. That's <laughs> awesome. Alright, so I guess then, hmm, we'll probably make our way to the dungeon and see the commander then.
Okay, so we're fighting the commander, the lunatic cultist, and I hit the wrong cultist, so now we have two of them. But, uh, that's okay, these things happen. So, <laughs> um, yeah, oh my gosh. A lot of you correctly guessed that the commander would be the lunatic cultist, but, um, it's one of those things, I guess, you know, what would you do if the world was in danger? What price would you pay? to, you know, save the world sort of thing. Oh, we've spawned. <laughs> oh no, there's a, uh, there's a status pillar right here. This is crazy. Ah, should we just fight it straight away? Oh, okay, yo-yos are not good for dealing with all of these starter cells. <laughs> oh, I've got to target all of them. <laughs> oh, come on, Yaron, you can do it. All right, that's probably three mobs down. <laughs> oh. Okay, there's a... What are they called? Milky Way Weavers. Oh, no, it's the other way. Okay, that's alright. Well, really, to be honest, it probably doesn't matter what order we fight the pillars in because, yeah, it's, um... We don't need any items from any of them. Um, so, yeah, it's basically just making our way to the Moon Lord. Um, but what we might do is get a little bit closer to the pillar... And that way we can get some honey. <laughs> um, no, that way, yeah, we can deal with this as soon as, uh, yeah, the shield wears off. But um, I'm pretty confident the yo-yo is going to do us pretty well. Although I am noticing we're taking a lot of damage. Hopefully before too many mobs spawn, let's just go for it. Arrgh. Okay, got it down to... Yeah, got it. Ah, don't die again. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> we need to tank up, guys. Need to tank right up. Okay, <laughs> there's a lot of starter cells. Alright, let's just try and kill the little ones. And try not to die again. Alright, get on a little... Get out of it! <laughs> so many of them. Ah! <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Beautiful. And boom. Okay. Ah, I think that's all of them. Oh, Nimbus, hi. <laughs> oh, wow. That is... That is crazy. Okay, it's all over. Beautiful. Well, let's make our way back to base. And thankfully, it doesn't look like there's a pillar right near our base, which is cool. So, what we need to look at is making the beetle... Um, oh, where did I put those? I thought I would have had some more beetle husks. Oh, they might be in the... Um, we had a golem chest over here. Did I take them out? I don't know, they might still... Uh-oh, we're near a pillar. <laughs> run, run! <laughs> oh... No more pillars. <laughs> Not until we upgrade our armor. Okay. So, oh, we're going to need some more turtle armor. Which we need chlorophyte for. <laughs> oh, we've got some chlorophyte. Hang on. We might be able to do this. Alright. So, we'll change that into chlorophyte. 16. 20 bars. I don't know if it's enough. Oh, it's not enough! We can't make the chest. <laughs> we're going to have to go to the jungle and farm a tiny bit of chlorophyte so we can make the beetle plate mail uh, which is the defensive set so we'll make our way there now and then we can fight some more pillars okay here we are in the beautiful jungle and I'm slightly concerned because I can hear pillar music down here um, which means pillar mobs might spawn um, but hopefully they don't <laughs> oh hey merchant What's going on? What you got? Oh, another gradient. <laughs> uh, 
Ah, uh, let's get another counterweight. I don't need to know if I need that one, but we'll grab it anyway. Oh, gosh. Okay. So, as I mentioned, we're just on the hunt for a tiny bit of chlorophyte. I think we need about four bars worth. So, yeah. It shouldn't take too long. Oh, there's, there's some there. Um, and I think it's definitely going to be worth it. Um, and that way we can sort of not tank the mobs, but, yeah, just be... I don't know, a bit more gung-ho, get through them at that little bit quicker, and then uh, then everything should be fine. I think 34 may already be enough. I'm pretty sure 4 Chlorophyte makes a bar, but we might just grab a tiny bit more if we can, uh, because I don't want to have to come back again. Um, this should be the last trip here. Alright, 46. Alright, one tiny little bit more. Where's one more little patch of it? And then we will be sweet. But I'm not going to throw away the uh, beetle scale mail because, you know, who knows? Against the Moon Lord, maybe it's better to have more damage. I don't know. Especially if we're, like, flying around during the fight. So, yeah, it's good to have options, I suppose. All right, that should do it. So let's make our way back. And now we should be able to... Craft the... Oh, it's six. Whoa. Ho, 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 happy. What are you doing? What are you doing? Luckily, luckily we had enough. Luckily. Oh. And now we should be able to make the beetle. Where is it? Where's the beetle? Hang on, I've got, I've got the shell. And I just need the husks. Did I put the husks in here? Yeah. Hang on, sorry guys, it's, sometimes it's hard to see the little icons. Alright. So, oh, shell, I called it plate before. So, beetle shell. Alright, so that'll put out, whoa, what a boost. So, we've got 12 more defense. Um, yeah, very nice, very nice. Okay, that's cool, but we will definitely hang on to that, um... This scale mail, just in case. Let's put it in our chest, our safe for now. Now, before we do the next pillar, we probably need to... I've been boosting critical a lot of this adventure, but I think the time has come to maybe substitute for warding a little bit. Um, so we've got the worm scarf on. We've got the obsidian shield. Yeah, menacing. We really... Damage isn't the issue. Like, we were doing tons of damage against them. We were just getting totally smashed at the same time. <laughs> uh, four platinum. Okay, so we can do a bit of reforging. Let's go say hi to the goblin. What's cheap to reforge? Maybe the yo-yo bag? Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, so we want guarding. No, we, we want warding. This is the time of the game for warding. Alright, beautiful. 96 defense. Ooh. Fire gauntlet? Yeah, we can probably do that. Angry. No, we don't want angry. We want super defense. Warding. Where is it? Hard. Guarding. Oh, guarding's only two. Intrepid. Intrepid? Yeah, intrepid. Rash. Oh, we're going through cash. Going through cash. Warding. Beautiful. Alright, 100 defense. We're doing good now. Steampunk wings cost a fortune. No. Not doing those yet. <laughs> Maybe Celestial Shell? Oh, it's just as dear. Oh, we'll try. Nope. Lucky. Oh. 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 No, I'm gonna leave it. Alright, so we've got defense on quite a few things for now. And critical on the other, so that's actually pretty sweet. 100 defense, so we're about, you know, I think 23, 24 points more defense now. Uh, which is really, really nice. So I'm going to grab some potions, guys, and then we'll make our way to... Let's try the Vortex Pillar next. I can hear the pillar just to the right, which means it's Vortex time. So let's throw some buffs on for this one, because things are about to get crazy. And they're all underneath. <laughs> oh, no, 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 there, okay. <laughs> I thought, hey, this is going to be easy, and no, unfortunately not. Oh, why did I move to the side? I let them out. <laughs> okay, oh, I've got that weird buff thing going on, that debuff. Alright, let's fly around a bit. Oh, oh it's those anti-gravity shots they shoot. Oh, they're horrible. 
Well, I'm noticing the armor difference straight away. That's really, really nice that we're not, uh, yeah, almost dying in one hit, which is kind of cool. Oh, look at these little uh, the alien lava things. I never normally see them because I'm usually right in the uh, vortex pillar, but I can see them now, which is kind of cool. All right, let's get a bat. Ugh, <laughs> All right, let's move a bit back to the pillar area. Get into the thick of the action, guys. All right, where is this pillar anyway? Let's go for a wander. Oh, there it is. Hey, Vortex Pillar. What's going on? <laughs> there's like stuff falling off it. Or is that from the mobs? No, there's stuff falling off the pillar. Who knows what it is? I don't think I want to know. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, let's take out these things. Little bugs everywhere. Okay, but we better use a heal while the charge is available. Oh, no, I got hit by it again. I should be using the UFO mount to avoid it better. Alright, we'll just fly a bit to the side, put some distance. Wow, I'm honestly finding the pillars difficult with the yo-yo. Um, just because you've got to keep focusing on all the uh, all the individual mobs. I've realised I must use um, homing, homing weapons a lot on the pillars. But uh, hey, it's all good. We, we will adapt. Alright, here we go. Oh, they're everywhere. They're everywhere! Alright, let's jump in the UFO for a bit. Okay, that's actually probably going to help a bit. There we go, that's better. Yeah, that's working. Whoa, those little alien lavas went everywhere. Alright, let's get that Storm Diver. Yep, dodge that. Oh no, I got hit by the, the anti-grav. Alright, let's go back to the pillar. Back to the pillar, let them catch up to us. Ooh, that's nice, they all bunched up. That doesn't happen often, so I'll take it. This is, uh, this has been tough. The, um, I miss my razor blade typhoons and my, uh, chlorified bullets. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's kind of interesting that, you know, yo-yos are so powerful against single bosses. And yet, yeah, during these, uh, pillar invasions, I'm finding, it's not that the yo-yos are weak, it's just that, yeah, they sort of, um, it does take a bit more... I guess skill to keep the damage on all the mobs and avoid their attacks. So in that way it's kind of a challenge. Which I suppose makes sense, like you're doing melee against... Holy moly, look at all those projectiles! So yeah, it does make sense that using melee during the pillars should be more difficult, but uh, hey, we will try and take out this pillar without much more shenanigans from these crazy mobs. Look at them all! Alright, we got it. Excellent. Excellent. Alright, got rid of them. Oh, there's like a whole swarm of them. Oh, this is crazy. Crazy. Yeah, let's look at them. Look at them! <laughs> oh, okay, I almost dodged them all. Oh, they're after me. <laughs> oh, gee, the UFO mount was so useful. Um, I couldn't imagine doing this with just wings. I don't think I would have been able to do it. Um, oh, I probably, well, okay, let me rephrase. I don't think I would have been able to do it without dying a lot. <laughs> Alright, let's make our way back to base. That's, uh, that was cool. Good challenge. So now we've only got solar and nebula left. So, oh, which one will we do next? Oh, the possibilities are endless. Um, probably, before we fight the Moon Lord too, I would like to make the last two yo-yo rooms. And we can probably fit the rally in one of the other rooms. Maybe the ice one, it kind of matches that theme, I suppose. So, I have Cthulhu room, Gradient room. Okay, everyone. Thanks, as always, for watching another episode of Yaron the yo yo -er. Like, Oh, we've got so much done this episode. And fighting the commander as well. 
which actually wasn't that super tough of a battle, but yeah, poor Yaren, I hope he's going to be okay. And I hope we actually survive the Solar Pillar um, and actually beat the Moon Lord. So if you've got any tips, if you fought Yo-Yo um, Moon Lord on Expert or Moon Lord on Expert with a Yo-Yo, <laughs> let me know your tips in the comments. I, um, I'm interested to see how it goes. Um, it should go pretty good because he's only got four hittable targets and the Yo-Yo excels when it's against a single target. So... Yeah, I'm thinking it should be okay. Wondering if I should use a run and gun strategy like Wolfgang tried. That seemed to work pretty well. Um, but anyway, we'll see what happens, and that'll be next episode anyway. Alright, it's time for some shoutouts as always. And our first one is from Alex Blaney. And if I ask me to see any yarn voice, Wolfgang says I'm getting fat, so I'm on a strict cookie diet. <laughs> Cookies for a diet, I like it. But uh, hey, you know, they're delicious. You can't go wrong. Thanks, Alex. Our next one is from Mindflip, and it's not actually a shout out, it's a birthday. It's Mindflip's birthday, so happy birthday to you! <laughs> I hope you have a really awesome day, Mindflip, and just hanging out with friends and family and all that good stuff, eating lots of yum food. Have a great day. Our next one is from Freytana, and they've asked me to say in a Rufus voice. Can I beat the Slime King? Sure, I can. I <laughs> uh, love the pun there. Very punny. <laughs> Thanks, Freytona. Our next one is from Thomas Nedeloff. And the master saying, Slimy voice. Let's play, Rufus. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> uh, the poor Rufus was getting accosted by Slimy's last episode, which was, uh, yeah, I don't think he liked them. I think he called them annoying blobs. <laughs> Thanks, Thomas. And our last one today is from Christopher Kloss. And I've asked me to sing a He-Man voice. I have the cookie! <laughs> if you don't know who He-Man is, just Google it. It's this really old cartoon. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks so much for watching as always. Click that like button if you've enjoyed it. And you liked the revelation with Yaren's story and the commander and all that cool stuff. I had so much fun making that scene, it was awesome. And uh, yeah, keep those comments and suggestions coming. What do you want to see before Yaren's series ends? Because it is getting very close to the end now. And uh, yeah, we've got all great videos coming up in the next few days, guys. So we've got Wolfgang's bonus video coming up, and I've been working on it already. And we're going to get the last prism and have a bit of fun smashing all the bosses. We've also got R Rufus, uh, who's going to continue his adventure now that he's beaten King Slime. And we've also got the new series starting, which is going to be awesome. Alright, so... If you haven't subscribed, guys, click the little HD icon in the bottom right corner. You won't be disappointed, and you'll get all our new videos straight to your sub box, which is awesome. And here's the most important part, as always. You all stay happy, and I'll see you soon. This is Hopper Dory signing out. See ya! And that means that Ectoplasm will be, yeah, getting farmed nicely. And you can see that was dead easy to set up that. So the mobs can cruise up the sides. The Mimics can get in, which is one of the main things. Yeah, we've got lots of good loot. It's just... Oh, he's got 3,000 health! He's only got 3,000!